An individual fundraiser, which we will also simply refer to as a fundraiser, is a collection of donations that will be pooled together for a specific charity or charities. Some fundraisers will be set up to include a fundraising goal, which you can track on its fundraising page, and some will include a scrolling list of donors so that you can view the contributions that have already been made to that fundraiser. A team fundraiser, on the other hand, is a collection of fundraisers that will be pooled together for a specific charity or charities. This allows multiple fundraisers to track their donations together in one fundraising page, and, as with fundraisers, team fundraisers may be set up to include a goal for the team, and or include a scrolling list of donors. Any donation that is applied to a fundraiser will be tallied as a contribution to that fundraiser, as well as the team fundraiser that that fundraiser is a part of, if applicable. Any donation made to a team fundraiser, however, will only be tallied as a contribution to the team fundraiser, and will not be tallied as a contribution to any of the individual fundraisers that are part of that team. Also, it is important to note that fundraising teams are not the same as groups and teams. For more information on group creation and joining, please refer to how to create and join a group, or how to join an existing group. This tutorial will cover the difference between a fundraiser and a team fundraiser, the difference between fundraising teams and groups and teams, finding fundraiser setup during registration, finding fundraiser setup after registration, finding fundraiser setup without registering, becoming a fundraiser, and creating and joining a team fundraiser. The difference between a fundraiser and a team fundraiser. During the process of donating, as is explained in How to Donate, you may be presented with the option to create a fundraiser and or a team fundraiser. A fundraiser is a collection of donations that will be pooled together for a specific charity or charities, while a team fundraiser is a collection of fundraisers that will be pooled together for a specific charity or charities. Team fundraisers allow multiple fundraisers to track their donations together in one fundraising page, while individual fundraisers allow one person or entity to track only the donations that are made to their fundraising page. It is important to note, donations made to a fundraiser that is part of a fundraising team will be attributed to both the fundraiser and the fundraising team. However, donations made directly to a fundraising team will not be attributed to an individual fundraiser. The difference between fundraising teams and groups and teams. Fundraising teams are used for collecting and tracking donations, while groups and teams are used more for social and scoring purposes. Membership to a fundraising team is exclusive only to fundraisers, while joining groups is open to any registrant who fits that group's criteria. For more information on group creation and joining, please refer to how to create or join a group, or how to join an existing group. Finding fundraiser setup during registration. Provided that the race you are registering for allows users to become fundraisers, at some point during the registration process, you will arrive at the donate step. Here you will find a button for the Become a Fundraiser section. If you click on this button, then the fundraiser creation fields will be opened up to you, and you can become a fundraiser, as is explained in the upcoming section for Becoming a Fundraiser. Please note that if the button for Become a Fundraiser is unavailable, then the race does not have fundraiser creation enabled for participants. For more information on why this feature may not be enabled, please contact the race directly by going to the race page, scrolling down to the race contact info section, and filling out the questions form. Finding fundraiser setup after registration. Provided that the race you have registered for allows users to become fundraisers, then you can do so after registering by logging into the account that you registered under, going to your profile, scrolling down and opening up My Registered Races, clicking on View Edit Registration, and then hitting Fundraiser. When you click on this button, then the fundraiser creation fields will be opened up to you, and you can become a fundraiser, as is explained in the upcoming section for Becoming a Fundraiser. Please note that if the option for fundraiser is unavailable, then the race does not have fundraiser creation enabled for participants. For more information on why this feature is not enabled, please contact the race directly by going to the race page, scrolling down to the race contact info section, and filling out the questions form. Finding Fundraiser Setup Without Registering Provided that a race allows users to become fundraisers, then you can find the fundraiser setup without going through the registration process by either going to the Donate section and clicking on Become a Fundraiser, or by clicking on Donate, 
either under the Donate section or at the top of the page, and then clicking on the button for Become a Fundraiser. In either case, when you click on this button, then the fundraiser creation fields will be opened up to you, and you can become a fundraiser, as is explained in the upcoming section for Becoming a Fundraiser. Please note that if the button for Become a Fundraiser is not available, then the race does not have fundraiser creation enabled for participants. For more information on why this feature is not enabled, please contact the race directly by going to the race page, scrolling down to the race contact info section, and filling out the questions form. Becoming a Fundraiser No matter which of the previous methods you use to arrive at the Become a Fundraiser step, the first step will be to enter in your individual fundraiser name. In most cases, the fundraiser name will be your name because you are most likely the fundraiser. Please note that your individual fundraiser name is not the same as the fundraising team name. Fundraising teams are groupings of fundraisers working towards a collective goal, which is why the norm for individual fundraiser names is usually simply your name. Setup of team fundraisers will be explained with more detail in the upcoming section for Creating a Team Fundraiser. Next, you can set your fundraiser goal. This is the amount that you hope to collect in total with your fundraiser. If you are becoming a fundraiser during the registration process, then you may see the option to agree to meet the fundraiser minimum. Some races will allow your registration fee to be waived if you set your fundraising goal equal to or greater than the designated amount, and you check off the box agreeing to meet that minimum. If you do not see this option during the registration process, then the race does not have it enabled. Please note that you will not see this option if you are donating after or outside of the registration process. If you are trying to receive a waived fee for agreeing to a fundraising minimum, then you will need to follow the steps for finding the fundraiser setup during registration. If you have already registered and you would like to agree to the fundraiser minimum retroactively, then you will need to contact the race directly to see if they will allow this. They can be reached by going to the race page, scrolling down to the race contact info section, and filling out the questions form. Next, you can click on Show Goal Thermometer if you would like there to be a counter that displays which portion of your goal has been collected so far, and or you can select Show Scrolling List of Donors if you would like your fundraiser page to include a list of the donations that were made to your page. If you are becoming a fundraiser without registering, and you are not signed into your account, then you will be asked to enter in your information. This includes your first name, last name, email address, and a password. The email address and password that you enter here will allow you to access your account later so that you can manage your fundraiser at any time. Your fundraiser page URL can be customized to allow for easy sharing amongst family and friends. Simply fill out the remainder of the field that has the start of the run sign up URL in it, and remember that spaces are not permitted in the URL, and the URL must only contain alphanumeric characters, underscores, and or dashes. You also have the option of adding a personal message to display on your fundraising page. This text can be customized with different headings and content, including links and lists, and this section will appear on your Run Sign Up fundraiser page. In addition to that, you can customize your fundraiser further by uploading a fundraiser image. Simply click on Choose File, and select the image you would like from your computer. If you are logged into Run Sign Up and you would like to use your current profile picture as the fundraiser image, then you can check the box to indicate this. Or, on the other hand, you can choose to upload a new image, and check off the box to save this image as your new profile picture. After your fundraiser is set up, you may have the option to create and or join a team fundraiser. For more information on team fundraiser creation and joining, please refer to the steps in the next section of this tutorial, Creating and Joining a Team Fundraiser. Once you have all of your fundraiser information correctly filled out, Click on Set Up Fundraiser, and you will receive confirmation that your fundraiser has been successfully created. After saving, edits and modifications can be made to your fundraiser, as is explained in How to Manage a Fundraiser. Creating and Joining a Team Fundraiser Depending on the race, you may be offered the option to create a team fundraiser. If you do not have the option for Create or Join a Fundraising Team, then the race does not have team fundraisers enabled. You will need to contact them directly for more information on why they are disabled by going to the race page, scrolling down to the race contact info section, and filling out the questions form. Also, please note that fundraising teams are not the same as groups and teams. 
For more information on group creation and joining, please refer to how to create and join a group or how to join an existing group. If fundraising teams are enabled, then you can join one by selecting it from either the drop-down menu or clicking on Search Teams and selecting it from the search results. Once you have your team selected and you have completed the steps in the previous section for Become a Fundraiser, then you can click on Set up Fundraiser and you will receive confirmation that your fundraiser has been successfully created. To create a new fundraising team to join, either check off the box for New Fundraising Team or select New Fundraising Team from the drop-down menu. Enter in the new fundraising team name. Next, you can set a goal for your fundraising team in the field for New Fundraising Team Goal. This goal will likely be higher than the goal that is set on the individual fundraiser, since multiple fundraisers will be working together to reach the goal as part of the fundraising team. Finally, you can enter in a personal message to display on the new fundraising team page. Please note that the team fundraiser can be modified further, as is explained in how to manage an individual or team fundraiser. This includes showing the goal thermometer, adding a scrolling list of donors, creating a custom URL, and uploading a team fundraiser image. Once you have your new team fundraiser set up, and have completed the steps in the previous section for Become a Fundraiser, then you can click on Set up Fundraiser, and you will receive confirmation that your fundraiser has been successfully created. A written instruction manual is also available for this topic, and can be viewed in the How-To section of Run Signup. <laughs>